In honor of Yud Shvat, the Kids Daily Rebbe video is proud to introduce a new series of videos taking you through the main points of the Mimer Basi Lagani. <laughs> Yud Shvat is a very special date on the Hasidic calendar. On this day in the year Tafshin Yud, the Friedrich Rebbe passed away. Soon after the Histalkos, the Hasidim accepted the Rebbe as the Rebbe, but the Rebbe refused to officially accept it for a whole year. Finally, on Yud Shvat Tafshin Yud Aleph, one year later, the Rebbe officially accepted the Nasius by saying the mimer beginning with the words Basi Legani. Basi Legani You can just imagine the happiness and joy that the Hasidim felt at the time. Because on Yud Shvat the Rebbe became the Nasi, it's a very special time for us Hasidim to strengthen our Hiskashras to the Rebbe through learning his Torah and following his Hairais. The word Rebbe in Hebrew stands for Rosh B'nai Yisrael, the head of the Jewish people of the generation, the Nasi Hadar. In this very first Mimer, after accepting the Nasius, the Rebbe explains that our generation is special because it's the seventh generation from the Alta Rebbe. Therefore, says the Rebbe, our special mission is to complete bringing Hashem Shechina, His presence, down into this world. Completing this mission will bring Mashiach, who will lead us together to build the Beis Hamikdash in Yerushalayim. Even though we may think we are not worthy to complete this mission, the Rebbe tells us that our generation was chosen and we have special koiches to fulfill the mission the whole world was created for. Life in Gan Eden was perfect. Hashem's presence, His Shechina, was felt everywhere. Imagine seeing Hashem and the things around you. That's what the world will be like when Mashiach comes. Unfortunately, this Mashiach lifestyle did not last. Adam and Chava were convinced by the snake, the Yetzahara, to eat from the Eitz Hadas. Now that people acted against Hashem's wishes, the world was no longer the best place for Hashem's Shechina. The Shechina was lifted out of this world to a higher, more spiritual one. The beautiful garden the world once was has now changed. <laughs> Adam and Chava's chait, Avera, made it possible for other people to do wrong. This led to Averis of Cain, Enosh, and other generations that made the Shechina move further away. When each generation sinned, the Shechina departed another heaven, Rakia, further. After seven generations, the Shechina was located seven Rakiim away from this world. Adam and Chava's Chait was the most severe of all. Their actions made the Shechina actually leave our world where it really belonged. Because of the first sin, we are no longer able to see and feel Hashem. The other Averis made Hashem's presence move further away, but the first Chait began the process. Imagine being in charge of preparing a palace for a king. First, you make sure the place is spotless. It needs to be scrubbed and polished, and then you can start decorating it with beautiful carpets and expensive furniture. 
Putting the fancy furniture in a dusty, dirty palace will not be fitting. A king can only really be comfortable in a real, clean, royal palace that shines and is set up beautifully. This world is Hashem's palace. Hashem created this world so His presence, the Shechina, should shine in everything here. This is called a Dira Batach a dwelling place for Hashem. Because of all the Averis of the seven generations from Adam, Hashem was no longer comfortable in His palace, in His home. Avram Avinu taught the world a new way to behave. He explained how Hashem is in charge of the world and we need to follow His commands. Through this, he made the world more fitting for Hashem's Shechina and began bringing the Shechina from the 7th Rakia to the 6th, closer down to this world. Avram Avinu dedicated his life to teaching others about Hashem. His Mesiras Nefesh to teach others how to serve Hashem caused the Shechina to begin to return to its palace. Yitzchak Avinu, Yaakov Avinu, and later Tzadikim continued this path. They kept bringing the Shechina closer and closer down to this world by continuing the path Avram started. We are told that Kol Hashvi and Chavivin all things with the number 7 are special. Shabbos is the 7th day of the week, and Shemitah is the 7th year. So too Moshe Rabbeinu was the 7th leader of the Yidin from Avraham Avinu. After Avraham Avinu began returning the Shechina to this world, six other tzaddikim continued his work. The 7th tzaddik, Moshe Rabbeinu, completed Avram's mission and brought the Shechina back into this world. Since Moshe Rabbeinu was number 7, Hashem loved him the most and gave him the honor of bringing the Shechina into its original home. Moshe Rabbeinu did not need to do anything to get this honor. He received it simply because he was the seventh generation from Avraham Avinu. Der Fund war der Loschnitz, nicht kol hachwivin schwin, nur kol hachwivin schwivin, is ach maschme avosse de meile bose, is at a dos was er is a schwi. When Meisher Rabbeinu brought down the Torah at Har Sinai, he began the first steps of returning the Shechina to the world. After the Mishkan was built, the Shechina finally rested in its physical home. Now, the garden in this world was complete. As the seventh generation, Moshe had the responsibility to complete the mission that Avram Avinu began. It didn't matter how holy he was or if he wanted to finish the job or not. Having the special position 
of being number seven gave him the extra responsibility. Moshe Rabbeinu brought the Shekhinah back down into this world by building the Mishkan. Later, when the Beis HaMikdash was built, the Shekhinah moved there. Now it had a steady home and was shining a lot stronger. When Hashem commanded that a Beis HaMikdash be built, He said, Ve'asuli Mikdash ve'shachanti b'soicham. Build for me a Beis HaMikdash so I can rest in them. If the Beis HaMikdash is one building, why did Hashem say in them, not in it? Them is a word that is used to talk about a group of people. Hashem wants every Yid to make themselves as holy as a Beis HaMikdash so that He can rest in them in Bnei Yisrael. Hashem wants to rest not only in one place, the Beis HaMikdash, but in every single Yid. Look how special every Yid is. Hashem wants His Shechina to be comfortable with each one of us. When we act in the right way, each one of us becomes as holy as a Beis HaMikdash. Seven Sadikim, beginning with Avram Avinu and ending with Moshe Rabbeinu, returned the Shechina to its proper home. Years later, our Rabbeim began the final step of correcting the world by getting everyone prepared for Mashiach. The first Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe, acted with great Mesidus Nefesh to explain Chassidus, which prepared the world for the coming of Mashiach. Like Avram Avinu, he began the process of improving the world. Each following Rebbe continued the Alter Rebbe's path, preparing the world for Geula. Now, in our times, we are in a generation of the seventh Rebbe. We are the ones completing the most important job of bringing Mashiach. Listen carefully to how the Rebbe's voice changes when he explains to us his Hasidim our very important job. <laughs> Just like Moshe Rabbeinu was the seventh, we are the seventh generation from the Alter Rebbe. This means we must complete what the other Rabbeim began. Even though this may seem like a hard job, and we may not be interested in doing it, we need to bring Mashiach just because we have the position of being number seven. All that is left for us to do is to bring the Shekhinah from the Rakia above this world completely into our world. Hashem treasures us and gives us the privilege of completing this mission. With this special power of being number seven, we will be the ones to bring Mashiach now. Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader of the seventh generation from Avram Avinu, took the Yidin out of Mitzrayim and brought them to Har Sinai to receive the Torah. He brought his nation to Geula, finishing the task of the seven generations up to him. So too, we, the seventh generation, receive from our Nasi, the seventh from the Alter Rebbe, the power to complete the mission of all generations 
to bring the Geula. Our leader, the Rebbe, will take us out of this Gashmistika Galos. We will live in a time when there will be no more pain and suffering, hunger or wars. At the same time, he will redeem us from our Ruchnistika Galos. He will take us into a time when we will not have to fight with our Yetzirah and we will be able to do mitzvahs easily. Our Rebbe, the Nasi Hadar, is not only here to prepare the world for Mashiach, but is also the actual person to redeem us from Galos. <laughs> Any day now, the third Beis HaMegdash will be built and we will see Hashem with our very eyes and have the complete revelation of the Shekhinah. The Rebbe ends Basi Lagani explaining how the Friedrich Rebbe is a descendant of David HaMelech. He already suffered for Bnei Yisrael the way Nevi'im told us Mashiach would need to do. Now he should come and take us out of Galos. We should be Zoycheh that Bimhei Rabbi Amenu, very soon we should see the Rebbe taking us out of our physical and spiritual Galos and lead us to the Geula, the Hu Yigalenu. Thank you.